Okay, I'd like to call to order this regular council meeting. And I'm going to put this on because I'm supposed to. And uh, second item is disclosures of pecuniary interest. And I'll ask any member if they have a pecuniary interest in anything on the agenda. The Deputy Mayor. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, 9.2, I have a pecuniary interest. I am a member of the, the Sportsman Club. Thank you. Any other declarations? Seeing none, of course, you can declare any time if you need to. We have no, we do have an addition, pardon me. Uh, we have a, a resolution moved by the Vice Deputy Mayor, seconded by Councillor Schreider, that an additional item be added to the regular council meeting that speaks to the forming of a Lamont Sports Park Ad Hoc Fundraising Committee. Questions or comments to the resolution? Seeing none, all in favor? It's carried. Uh, so that moves us then. Uh, there are no further additions or deletions, and we have no public meeting, uh, so that moves us then. I guess, do I need to do this in dispensing? All right, so um, that moves on to adoption of minutes, and uh, the regular council minutes of November 11th, 2019. I have a motion moved by Councillor Carr, seconded by Councillor Schreider, that council adopt the minutes of the council meeting of November 11th, 2019, as presented. Questions or comments to those minutes? Seeing none, all in favor? That's carried. Uh, that moves us to the Committee of the Whole Minutes of November 11, 2019, and Operating Budget Minutes, November 19, 2019. And I have a motion moved by Councillor Schreider, seconded by the Deputy Mayor, that Council note and file the minutes of the Committee of the Whole Meeting of November 11, 2019, and the Operating Budget Minutes of November 19, 2019, as presented. Questions or comments to those minutes? Seeing none, all in favor? That's carried. So that moves us then on to reports of the Committee of the Whole, and we have one, and it's an Infrastructure and Development Report of November 11, 2019, and I have a motion moved by Councillor Schreider, seconded by Councillor Carr, that Council of the Town of Sogging Shores adopts the Infrastructure and Development Report dated November 11, 2019, recommending that Council approve the 2019-2020 Winter Operations Plan. Questions or comments to the resolution? Seeing none, all in favor? It's carried. So we have no more reports of officers, no modus motions. So we do have a motion now. And the motion, so we have a motion, uh, and uh, I have a resolution before I read the motion. There is a resolution moved by the Vice Deputy Mayor, seconded by the Deputy Mayor, that Council dispenses with notice with regard to this motion. Does everybody understand what that means? It means it's going to be a motion we'll vote on tonight. It will not be a notice of motion. Any comments or questions? Seeing none, all in favor? That's carried. Okay. So I have a motion uh, moved by the Deputy Mayor, seconded by Councillor Schreider. Uh, it moved that Council directs the Striking Committee to draft terms of reference for a committee to develop a plan for raising funds for the Lamont Sports Park project and to recommend members of the public to appoint to that committee. Questions or comments to the resolution? The Vice Deputy Mayor. Mr. Mayor, I'll be supporting this, uh, this resolution. I, I think that, uh, you know, hot off uh, winning the $250,000 with the uh, Craft Finds Project play, I know there's a fair number of people in this community that are not only willing to do a whole lot of fundraising, but there's a whole lot also, what I'm hearing, a whole lot of uh, individuals, corporations, businesses willing to contribute to the Lamont Sports Park and strike when the iron's hot. And I think that it's good that we move forward, send this off to the striking committee, uh, get the terms of reference done, and get the committee struck. And uh, let's get this committee formed. And uh, I, I don't think it's the intent to go and fundraise next week, but I think there's people out there wanting to get organized uh, with the help of council with an ad hoc committee to start at least the planning process and to see where uh, funds can be raised and, and, and wait for that plan to come back from from staff and council, uh, you know, the business plan in terms of, you know, costing and what needs to be raised. So I'm in full support of this motion. Thank you. Further uh, questions? Uh, Councillor Mayette. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I too, uh, I think this is a, a great idea that we have a fundraising committee that goes out and actively puts on events and solicits sponsorship for the for the Lamont Sport project. Um, it just it seems a little a little bit irregular to me. I mean, maybe I'm just uh, not as experienced as some of you that uh, it would be a constituted committee of council that would be in charge of running the the fundraising. It, it would seem to me that it would be more um, organically. Uh, spontaneous out of the community and have community members stepping forward to their own will and it just it makes me the only reason I say that is because it makes me a little bit uh, I have questions about um, how um, 
contributions would be treated for tax purposes and how liabilities uh, would be carried by the town if it's a constituted committee and maybe, perhaps you could set my mind at ease. Just to clarify the resolution, uh, the, uh, the resolution directs the striking committee to draft terms of reference for a committee to develop a plan to raise funds for the Lamont Sports Park. So the purpose of the committee, this committee is not a fundraising committee, would not be raising funds. Its intention, its intent, I, as if I understand what the mover and seconder intend, is to develop, uh, working with uh, municipal staff, uh, uh, the plan for a fundraising campaign. Hopefully we would receive that plan. Uh, simultaneously or close to when we actually re when we actually see the plans for the project and that way uh, we could m advance a fundraising campaign in the future more quickly but but this is not this the intention here is not to appoint a fundraising committee and rather to appoint a committee to create a plan is that uh, is that well enough understood am I my you're looking at me funny well uh, mr. mayor I just I think that uh, the intent is, is to form the ad hoc fundraising committee and and my, my thought around that was there would be sufficient amount of interest off of the list of candidates that have submitted volunteer applications to actually assist with, with the fundraising campaign. So I know we're, we're dra drafting terms of reference for the plan. I would hope out of the plan that lead, it would lead to a fundraising campaign. So uh, maybe we're saying the same thing, um, but I mean the initial work is to get the terms of reference done, put the plan together. But I hope that the very next step right after that um, would be to, to to get the campaign started. And I would I would think and you know that, that perhaps um, some or maybe all of the committee that's appointed from the ad hoc committee very might, might very well be the the fundraising committee. I don't know whether the deputy mayor wants to speak to that. But. Deputy mayor. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. <clears throat> um, and I agree with Vice Deputy Mayor, but I believe what the mayor is saying and what you're saying are, are the same thing. We've got to create our terms of reference. We'll get the plan. And when we bring that back to council, we are hoping that at that same time, that's when our, our business plan comes back from the consultant. We bring it all together and move forward with the creation. Well, not the creation of the plan, but move forward with the, the fundraising committee. Yeah, Council Schreider. Thank you, and through you, I... I agree as well. I think it's just the wording, but I think that this is a critical step in order for us to take in order to be ready to hit the ground running when we are permitted to do so and when we're ready to do so. So the appropriate steps being that we develop the terms of reference, develop the plan, hear from our consultant, and also then have our striking committee develop this committee or appoint this committee um, and those parameters within that. But I, I think we have to keep this process moving forward. We have a, a great deal of community members that were involved in the Kraft Heinz project play, but also um, that want to see this project take off the ground. And, and we need doers in 2020 in order to make it happen. And these guys are doers, so I say we go ahead with it. Yeah, so the point is, I just want to clarify this so council really understands the resolution is passing. Uh, the the striking committee is directed to develop a terms of reference for a committee to develop a plan. So the expectation from council to this committee would be for it to create a plan and report on that plan to this council. It would deliver a plan, a fundraising plan, to this council. Uh, at which point council would decide what to do with that, and then the next step after that would be a fun would be actual fundraising. But the expectation in this resolution of the committee that you, if we adopt this would be for that committee to develop a plan and deliver that plan to this council. Uh, so I want to just want to make that very clear. Uh, the uh, councilor Matt. Thank you for the uh, secondary chance, uh, and I think we are all saying the same thing, but. Um, for, Perhaps the CAO could comment on what the legalities are of having a town-constituted committee with appointed members of council and others on a committee that is fundraising. I think uh, I think probably we're better off separating the actual fundraising from the the plan, which is going to create the target. It's going to create the types of activities. It's going to you know name the timelines and all those types of things. But when it comes to doing the actual fundraising, there's groups out there that are better positioned. To do that sort of thing, from uh, tax point of views, if you know if you get a group like uh, Rotary, for instance, they can issue tax receipts for funds raised, right? So you're, it just doubles down on the amount of money you can raise. So that's all I'm saying is we need to uh, make sure that we separate town business from the fundraising. When the fundraising is all said and done, and they want to present a four foot by two foot check to us. That's great too, but uh, 
to me, it seems that there's, the two should be separate. Yeah, I think it would be. I don't think it'd be fair to ask the CAO to comment on this. He hasn't seen this resolution coming and hasn't had time to think about it. But I, so, but I, what I would say is uh, that we're going to have the chance. This council have the chance if this passes to see a plan, and and uh, and after and that after that stage, that plan will lay out how you go about the fundraising and all those details, who does it and how it's done, and also uh, the details. So I think uh, um, you know if you approve this resolution, you're going to hear again before a fundraising campaign actually starts. So we'll have more chance to talk about it at that point. Is there any further comments or questions? I don't see any, so I'll ask all in favor of the resolution. That's carried. So then that moves us on to bylaws. And there's two bylaws, but uh, the deputy mayor has a pecuniary interest in one, so we'll separate them uh, and, uh, and vote on them uh, individually. Uh, so. It has been moved by Councillor Smith, second by the Vice Deputy Mayor, that bylaw uh, that the following bylaw is hereby read first, second, and third time, and finally passed and sealed this 25th day of November 2019, 85 2019, being a bylaw to set fees and charges for the provision of services or activities for the Town of Saugeen Shores. Questions or comments to the bylaw? Seeing none. All in favor? Carried. So now we'll move on to 86. It is uh, moved by Councillor Smith, seconded by the Vice Deputy Mayor, that the following bylaws hereby read a first, second, and third time and finally passed and sealed this 25th day of November 2019, 86 2019, being a bylaw to enter into a lease agreement with Port Elgin Sportsman's Club. Questions or comments to the bylaw? Seeing none, all in favor? That's carried. Bring the Deputy Mayor back. And uh, that moves on to close to public. I have a motion moved by the Vice Deputy Mayor, seconded by Councillor Smith, that Council move into a close to public session in accordance with Bylaw 63-2015 under Section 3.8.2F, advice that is subject to solicitor client privilege, and Section 3.8.2N regarding a position, plan, procedure, criteria, or instruction to be applied to any negotiations carried on or to be carried on by or on behalf of the municipality or local board to discuss the negotiations for the lease for the Port Elgin Waterfront Revitalization Project. All in favor? That's carried. We'll reconvene in the committee room. I have a motion moved by Councillor Mayet, second by Councillor Grace, that Council arise from the closed public session and resume the regular Council meeting. All in favor? That's carried. The report arising from closed is that Council has provided direction to staff to assist in finalizing negotiations for the waterfront revitalization project. So, I have a motion moved by Councillor Grace, seconded by Councillor Mayette, that bylaw 87 2019, being a bylaw to confirm the proceedings of the Council of the Town of Saugeen Shores, is hereby read a first, second, and third time and finally passed and sealed this 25th day of November 2019. All in favor? It's carried. And I have a motion moved by the Deputy Mayor, seconded by Councillor Schreider, that this regular Council meeting of November 25th, 2019, hereby adjourns at 9.57 p.m. All in favor? That's carried.